everyone. Welcome to Mindful Body Works Pilates. I'm Andrea and we're back in my kitchen. Um, I'm just going to wait to see if some people join and then we'll start. We're going to start standing today. Hmm. Let's see what happens. Let's wait. Wonderful. Hey guys. Hi everyone, just waiting to see if anyone joins before we start. Um, this is Mindful Body Works Pilates and we're going to do, uh, do a class with um, two props. So the two props you want are, um, oh, you know what, I'm just going to make sure there's no extra noise. I'm just going to wait and see if anyone joins. So this is Pilates with Mindful Body Works, and I'm Andrea, and it's Pilates from my kitchen once again. And so I'm just gonna introduce the props, and we'll stand for the opening and see if anyone joins, and just keep going, you know. If um, and so, so props you need for this week, you can need a small towel, chi towel is fine, yoga towel, hand towel, whatever you got, and. Um, And then also you can have either a big folded bath towel or like a sofa cushion will work really well too for that. So we're gonna start standing. Hmm. We're gonna start standing. So maybe we're gonna start standing and just feet have distance apart, roll the shoulders up, back and down, up, back and down, up, back and down, just finding a little bit of space. And we're gonna spread the toes out, feet are hip distance apart, so hip bones above knees, and just rolling the shoulders up, back and down. We're gonna to start to rock forward into some calf raises. So rock forward into the toes and back. Rock forward into the toes. And back. Right forward. Sorry. Hi guys. Thanks for joining. We're just getting started here. So I was just shouting out to say that um, we got two little props today. We got a, sm a ha small hand towel or yoga towel or whatever you got. And um, either a bigger towel or like a sofa cushion for some of our floor core work. So um, we're gonna start standing. We're gonna start with some kind of calf raise, kind of warming up the feet and balance work, and then we'll move down to do some core work. So we're gonna do a little bit of chest opening today, a little bit of core, a little bit of get, getting moving through that chest because we slump a lot, you know, when we're at computers, which we are all a lot recently. So feet hip distance apart, shoulders down, and then you're just going to, so you can, we're gonna start we're gonna start with the feet. So you're just gonna roll to the roll up, coming into a calf raise and roll down. So I'm just gonna do this from the side so you can see what I'm doing. Rolling up on the toes and down. So rolling up on the toes, really try and spread out the feet. Sometimes our big toes take a lot of the weight. And also you can see, we wanna try and see, go straight up, which is really hard for me, instead of swaying forward, right? So you don't wanna sway forward. You don't wanna be leading with your head. You wanna go straight up if you can. Up and down, we've got about eight more of those. Two and down, I'm gonna come back to the side. Three, you can add arms if you want, four, 
Just a little bit of shoulder movement. Five. Yeah. And six. Yeah. Seven. Yeah. Eight. Nine. And ten. Good. And then you're just gonna roll the shoulders up back and down. So you're just gonna bring your or you're gonna bring your arms up and you can slide them down, kind of elbows in line with the ears here. And we're just gonna round the back, bring the elbows together, pull the shoulder blades apart. So we're getting to the shoulder blades here. Round the back, bring the hands together, pull the shoulder blades apart so you're lifting the chest. Round the upper back, pull the shoulder blades away from each other, pull the shoulder blades towards each other, open the chest. Touch the elbows, round the back. Pull the elbows back, pull the shoulder blades together. Round elbows together, pull them back. <laughs> round elbows together, pull them back, pull shoulder blades together. Yeah, round, round, bring the spine round, and then pull the shoulder blades together, lift the chest one more time, bring the spine round, lift, bring the shoulder blades together. Good, and then you're just gonna bring the arms down for a second, so we got five of these, it's up and down. Feel like you're sliding your elbows into your back pockets. Two, yeah. Nice. Three. Four. And five. Nice, and with the feet, if this is the part are a little bit wider, just kind of test out what your squat hinge is looking like today. So I'm gonna do this from the side so you can see feet are hip distance apart, hip bones are above knees. I'm gonna start to bend the knees a little, start to, start to deepen the hip crease, send the bottom back and the chest forward, and then come up. So I'm gonna bring my hands together at heart center and then back. Together at heart center, sitting back and come up. Together at heart center and come up, yeah. Together at heart center and come up. Together and up. Really sitting the weight back into the heels, the bottom back and up. Keep the chest lifted, bottom back and up. One more time, bottom back and kind of like a chair pose. So let's come back to that feet hip distance apart stance. You can actually take it a little bit narrower. Feel this, hear the squeak of my kitchen floor there. <laughs> you can actually take it a little bit narrower if you like. We're gonna go into some balance work. Some of you have seen me do this before. We're doing it first today just to see how, if that makes things a little bit easier for us. So just really simple. You can have your arms out. You're gonna have left hand to the outside of the right knee and down. And then right hand to the outside of the left knee and down. So you're just lifting the leg, and the arm is crossing the midline. Left hand to the outside of the right knee. And down. Yeah, take a moment to put your put it down. Right hand to the outside of the left knee. And down. Yeah. Pause when you're up there. Left hand to the outside of the right knee. And down. We got the balance going now. Right hand to the outside of the left knee. And down. So these contralateral movements where you're crossing the midline of the body, so good for you. Yeah. <laughs> it's totally coordination too. Right hand to the outside of the left knee. And down, and one more time, left hand to the outside of the right knee. And down, okay. So we're gonna add on here, same deal as when we started. So you're gonna actually have your hands interlaced here. You can, do, you can keep going with the version we had, or you can add on here. So left knee, shoulder towards knee, and down. Right knee, left shoulder towards right knee, and down. So right elbow towards left knee, and down. Left elbow towards right knee, and down, right elbow towards right knee, and down, so it's a bit like a standing crunch. Left elbow, and down, yeah, really round that shoulder blade towards the knee. We've got left elbow, right knee, and down, right elbow, left knee, and down, left elbow, right knee, and down, right elbow, left knee, and down. Just shake it out here, you can roll the shoulders. We've got one more little bit of balance before we go to seated. So you're gonna have the feet hip distance apart here. Yeah, you can have them a little bit narrower. So I have my feet kind of a little bit closer in than my hip bones for this one. It just feels a little bit more balanced when I'm doing it. So I'm just gonna, for this one, I'm just gonna ask you to hover your right foot and then send your right leg out. And you can lean a bit left and then put it down. Yeah, right foot, right foot strong on the ground, lift left foot up, lean right and down. So we're kind of getting the inner thigh here. Right leg lifts, you can point the toe here if you want, and then put it down. And then left leg lifts, and then put it down. So you gotta really keep that spine tall, the chest lifting here, right leg long, I know. And down, I'm gonna try not to collapse while we do this. Left leg long, so we're getting inner and outer thigh here. 
So we're abducting the leg, abducting the leg as we bring it in. Lift up the left foot, reach it out, bring it down, yeah. <laughs> lift up the right foot and bring it down. So let's add on. I'm gonna lift left leg. I'm gonna send left arm in the same direction. So one long line of energy from left toe to left hand and down, right? Pick up right foot this time, right arm reaches, right leg and arm reach, and down. You can see the other arm is crossing the body, right? So left arm, left leg, and down. Right arm, right leg, and down. It's totally coordination. Your brain's working here too, right? Left leg and left arm, and down. Right leg and left, right arm, and down. We got one more each side. Left leg and left arm, and down, right leg and right arm, and down. Nice work, guys. So we're just gonna roll the shoulders up back and down here. We're gonna roll down. So my mat, the length of my mat is this way, so that's how you're gonna see me roll down. So you're gonna just tuck the chin in, start to curl the chin in towards the chest. You can round the shoulders forward, pulling the shoulder blades apart, rounding down here. Softening, softening, and softening, nice. You can take hand to elbow, hand to elbow here and sway it out. It's right to left here. Ooh, yeah, sway it out. Nice. Good. And then you're just going to place the palms here. You can step back to a downward dog or right away step to all fours because that's where we're going next. This is going to feel a bit nice after that standing work we did, really sending those hips up and back. So hands can be shoulder distance apart or even wider if you like. You can even slightly turn the hands out if you feel that that gives you a little bit more width across the back body. Yeah. And then you're going to send the hips up and back. Feel free to bend the knees here. Take a few breaths here. It's one, two, three, four. Five. Beautiful. And just melt down here. Melt down to all fours. So we're kind of doing a little bit of chest opening here today. So not as much cat, cow, cat position. We're going to do more cow here. So you're going to have hands underneath the shoulders, knees hip distance apart, and underneath the knees. So knees under hips, hands under shoulders, reach the chin of the tailbone out and then press the hands round through the upper back. So let's do the traditional cat-cow to begin with, and then we'll add on. Reach chin and tailbone out. Top chin and tailbone round through the upper back. Reach chin and tailbone out. Round through the upper back. Good. Reach chin and tailbone out here. Round through the upper back. One more time. Reach chin and tailbone out here around through the upper back. I'm just going to go a little bit forward. Not so much that I bump into my oven. <laughs> a bit of a narrow apartment here. And so I'm going to reach chin and tailbone out. You can see that that's really hard for me drawing my shoulder blades together. And then I'm going to keep my toes curled under and then I'm going to sit back. All right. So I'm going to have my hands underneath my shoulder, come back into that cat cow pose, and then just sway back. Toes are curled under here, come into that cow pose, chest is reaching out, chin is reaching out, and then sit back. So we're doing from spinal extension to neutral. We're not actually going into the rounded spine, right? So extend the back, and then sit back. Extend the back, sit back to neutral. Good, extend the back, chin and chest reach out, and then neutral spine, just regular spinal curves. Extend the back, and then sit back. Let's add on. Extend the back here, and then you can walk your knees a little bit back so we're kind of in a plank. Let's come back. So extend the back, kind of plank position, and then sit the hips back. So your knees are back behind your hips so that when you, hear, you are here, you're in a knee down plank. Reach the body back. You can if also, of course, lift the knees. Full plank, touch the knees down, come back. Full plank, I know. <laughs> Touch the knees down, sit back towards your heels. Remember your toes are still curled under here. Knee, knee up plank if you wish, strong across that back body. Knees down and back. 
I know, two more, coming back full plank or that knee down plank is fine. And knees down back. One more time, coming back to that full plank. Let's hold here for two or three minutes, two or three breaths, not minutes. It's one, yeah, two, and three. Good, coming down to knees on the ground here. We're gonna just go into a little wrist warm up because I'm really realizing my wrists kind of need it too. So you're gonna walk your hands in towards your knees. It's a little, oh, I'm gonna move, move to the better camera angle for the ground, guys, sorry about that. So you're gonna have, oops, really hope that hold. And so I'm just gonna have my hands in a little bit closer to my knees. You've heard me say this before, and you have your hands closer to your knees so that there's less weight in your hands, right? If you have super strong wrists, you can have them directly under your shoulders. So I'm gonna do this from the side so you can sort of see. So, swaying weight right and left into the wrists, making sure those wrists are ready for what's coming next. And then I'm gonna turn my hands out, so turning the thumbs towards the front of the mat, swaying weight into that position. Basically, we're just teaching the wrists that these are all safe positions. It's safe for there to be weight, weight on the wrists, right? And then you're gonna turn the hands out completely so the inner wrists face towards each other, right? Face towards the inside of the mat, yeah. And then you're gonna turn your hands, sort of turn your fingers back so your thumbs are gonna be kind of on a diagonal pointing towards those front corners of the mat, probably. Yeah. I'm gonna be back on my mat so I can give you good mat references. <laughs> and then I'm gonna turn my hands back. Turn my hands back so that my inner wrists are facing that short front edge of the mat. Yeah. And I'm just going to curl my toes under again, and I'm gonna keep my arms straight or elbows relatively straight and sit back. Now, <laughs> if that's really not fun for you, then I really want you to think about bending the elbows or not sitting back quite as far. Yeah, so what we're trying to get at here is a forearm stretch, inner wrist stretch. Yeah, feel it, eh? Wow, Whew. There we go, and then just come out of it and just shake it out gently. And we're gonna do the top of the fists one. So make two fists, put them underneath your shoulders. Again, it can be closer to your knees or right underneath your shoulders. Right underneath your shoulders is the full weight of your upper body. So beware, right? We're loading the wrists. So fists strong and then open the hand. So strong and then open the hand, but on the ground. Strong and then open the hand. Strong and then open the hand. Make a fist, a lot of go. Make a fist, let it go. You can see my elbows are bent here. If you feel nothing here, then I want you to start to straighten the elbows. Wow, let it go into the wrist right away. <laughs> there you go. Make a fist, we'll let it go one more time. Make a fist, and let it go. Good, so we were just sort of prepping, standing, we prepped our shoulders, now we prepped our wrists. We're gonna go a little, we're gonna start to move a little bit side. So knees are distance apart, hands shoulder distance apart. We're not actually gonna be on the knees here, we're going to, we're gonna lift right arm and right knee, and you're gonna kick stand, so you're gonna turn your left leg towards the back of your mat, your left uh, shin towards the back of your mat. Your left hand is underneath your shoulder, your right leg is long, okay? And your right arm is extended here, right? So here's what we're gonna do, we're gonna tap, ex reach right leg long, right toe down, extend the leg and arm up. Tap right toe, reach right arm, lift right leg, reach right arm. Reach right arm, tap the toe, lift arm, lift leg. Reach and tap. Lift and lift. Nice. Reach and tap and push into that left shoulder. Tap, reach and reach. Reach and tap, reach and lift. And lift. Reach and tap. And lift. We got four more. Reach and tap. And lift. Reach and tap. <laughs> and lift. I know. Reach and tap. And lift. One more time. Reach and tap. And lift, and I want you to keep that right arm lifted, and I want you to keep the right leg lifted. You can't see my toe, but we're gonna move the leg small, make small circles with the right toe for five times in one direction. It's one, maybe the inside of a mug sized. Two, three, four, five, and then land. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. We're not totally done on this side, friends. You're gonna have your left hand underneath your left shoulder, knees 45 degrees here, hands on the hips. You know where we're going here, just a little side plank. You can reach right leg out, inner right foot on the front of the mat, outer left foot on the front of the mat. You can have the full side plank effect here if you wish. Reach your right arm up, it's one. Really pull that left hip away from the ground. Two, yeah, three, back the next long. Four, 
and five, I know, bend your knees, try not to hate me, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Beautiful, okay, so we're gonna start in that four, I'm just gonna, you don't have to switch sides, I'm just switching sides so you can see what I'm doing. We're gonna do that same thing, right? We just did the, we just did this side, we just worked the right side, so now we're gonna work the left side and I'm just switching sides so you can see what I'm doing. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn my right shin towards uh, the long edge of my mat, and I'm going to be supported on the right shoulder. This time we're lifting left arm leg, right? So, so, so left arm, so t reach left arm, tap left toe down, reach, like, lift left leg and left arm. Tap toe, reach arm, lift leg and arm. Tap toe, reach arm, whoops, lift leg and arm. Tap toe, reach arm, lift leg and arm. I know, four more. Tap toe, reach arm. Lift leg and arm. <laughs> tap toe, reach and lift. We got two more. Tap and reach. One more time. Tap and reach. Okay, so now you've got your left arm up, pressing into that right hand using the armpit muscles of your right on your right side. We're gonna make small circles with the left legs. One, two, three. Try not to collapse. Four, five. Other direction. Five. One. Two, three, four, five, nice. Woo, got a little side plank here on this situation happening here. All right, nice to see the people joining here. So knees, 45, uh, knees are kind of 45 degrees, hand is still right underneath the shoulder. You can just lift up. This is totally a valid side plank if you want to, but if you want to step your left inner foot forward and your right outer foot back and have that cross leg side plank, you're welcome to do that too. We've got three breaths here, it's one. Lift that right hip up. Two. I know. Side body, two, eh? And three. Good. And just come all the way down. Woo! <laughs> yeah, I know. So I know you're thinking, probably, Andrea, when are we, we going to use the towel? So we're going to use the big towel or sofa cushion right now. We'll do a little chest opening. Because people have been telling me that, uh, you know, with computer stuff and stuff, the chest opening would be good. So I'm trying to listen. I'm actually going to fold mine over. Um, just because of the length of my torso. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna have this, you're gonna have this um, like decorative sofa cushion or folded towel on your mat, and you wanna have it under your shoulder blades, but you're, you want the rest of your shoulders and your head, oops, you want, I'm gonna move so you can see, the rest of your shoulders and your head to be up over, up over that. I hope you can see me, up over the, and then land the head, land that top part of the shoulder. Just extend the arms. So we're kind of in a, I don't know if you can see, kind of in a chest T. There we go. So just trying to arrange it so you can see, guys. Yeah, like that. It's a little bit restorative. We're just doing that for a few minutes. So just breathe into that cushion underneath your shoulder blades. And just take a breath here. We don't worry, we are going somewhere in terms of chest work here. So this is just, yes, this is passive. This is just because we're kind of trying to awaken an area that sometimes gets a little bit of short shrift when we're working at computers or looking at phones. We're all curled forward, so we're gonna curl back a little bit. And then we're gonna add on, for sure. Beautiful. Good. Just take one more breath here, inhale here. And exhale. And you can lengthen up the legs if you like, if that feels good in your body. You can lengthen up the legs, lengthen up the arms for us just a moment, kind of deepen that chest stretch, really get length all along the front line of the body, including, hip, oh, including along the hip flexors there, long line. And then we're gonna draw the knees in again, and we're gonna come into a bit of flexion, but it's gonna be, you're gonna feel it differently. So you're gonna have your hands interlaced at the base of the skull, and again, you're over that cushion, with the shoulders landed down. So the cushion is under your shoulder blades, under kind of the mid-rib area, um, the low to mid-rib area, and then your shoulders, are, your shoulders and head are landed on the ground with the hands interlaced at the base of the skull. So you're gonna really pick those shoulder blades up off the pillow or the folded towel, and then come all the way back down. So we're gonna, we're gonna do a bit of repping here to kind of get deep into this area. So lifting chin towards the knees, so chin towards chest and coming back down. Inhale here, nod chin towards chest, roll those shoulder blades up 
towards the knees and down. Yeah, I know. And then lifting the shoulders up off the mat and down. We got five more. It's five, lifting the shoulders up and then gently landing the head and shoulders back down. And then nod chin towards chest, look towards those knees, draw low belly in and then come back down, feel the ribs relax a bit as you come down. Nod, chin towards chest, draw low belly in as you lift, and come down, we got three more. Nod, chin towards chest, coming up, and coming down, woo! <laughs> Nod, chin towards chest as you come up, and then coming down, good. And then one more, nod, chin towards chest as you come up, and then down. Woo, beautiful. You can really, I can really feel that chest opening. I don't know about you. I'm gonna take the, I'm gonna take the blanket out from underneath, so take the sofa cushion or fold the towel out from underneath my shoulder blades, and I'm gonna put the same, I'm gonna put it underneath my pelvis. Now, if you have a thicker cushion or you have a Pilates ball, you're welcome to do that instead. I'm gonna have that really under the pelvis, kind of under the sacrum. Yeah. So, and here, I want you to just think for a second, see if you can find a neutral spine, shoulder blades heavy on the mat. Um, your sacrum is probably more, mostly heavy on the, so, on the sofa cushion or it's folded towel here. And we're just gonna, I want you just want to think about subtly moving the pelvis, so move those hip, take the fronts of the hip bones and move the fronts of the hip bones towards your rib cage and then away from your rib cage. You're gonna feel the feedback of that sofa cushion, so roll the fronts of the, fronts of the hip bones to, back towards your rib cage, draw the low belly in, moving your low back towards the ground and more of, your, more of your low back onto the cushion, and then roll those, roll those hip bones towards your kneecaps. Roll the hip bones back towards your ribcage, drawing low belly in. Inhale, move the hip bones towards your kneecaps. Exhale, draw those front hip bones back towards your ribcage. Inhale, move them towards your kneecaps. You can feel the feedback of that cushion, and then roll the front hip bones towards your ribcage back towards the kneecaps here. We're gonna do some toe taps, so you can interlace the hands at the base of the skull here. Um, you can actually just leave your arms down. We don't have knees up here. And we're just gonna tap right toe down and then bring it in. Yeah, we'll tap left toe down, bring it in. So you wanna make sure you pull your knee in just a little bit beyond the hip crease. Right toe taps down, right knee draws in. We're keeping that left toe taps down, left knee draws in, pull lower body in. Right toe taps down, Right knee draws in. Right left toe taps down, left knee draws in. Yeah. Right toe taps down, right knee draws in. And then left toe taps down, left knee draws in. All right. You're just going to land the feet here. We're going to go back up. You can have your arms lifted if you like here. You can have them back. You're going to have, you can have the, so the arms back behind the head, right? So again, the pelvis still on that sofa cushion. Still figuring out the camera angles, guys. Thanks for your patience. So knees are gonna be, knees are gonna be stacked above the hip bones. Shins are gonna be parallel to the ceiling here. This is a moving together one. So you're gonna draw the knees in and then push them out. Just as really slight. Draw the knees in towards your belly. Move them out. Draw the knees in. Move them out. Press the feet into the ground. Lift the hips up. We're gonna go into this next little bit. So you still have that, still have that um, cushion underneath your sacrum, and this is a good reference. So we're gonna have the hips lifting evenly here, and you're simply gonna let go down enough that you can hover just above the cushion, pick your hips up. Go down enough that you can push, that you can just hover above the cushion and push your hips up. So the feet are right underneath the knees. They're a little bit closer towards the body. Feet pick, sorry, hips lift up and then hover down above the, above the cushion. Hips pick up, hover down above the cushion. Yeah, we got a little bit of bridging going on. Hips pick up, hover down around the cushion. Beautiful, hips pick up, hover down around the cushion. <laughs> hips pick up, hover down around the cushion. One more time, hips pick up, and hover down around the cushion. Both hips pick up here. The cushion is your reference point. I want you to take both hands to your front hip bones. You know where those are. We use them in the, in the, in the pelvis warm up here. And then I all I want you to do is let your right butt cheek drop a bit. So your right hip bone's gonna drop too, and then lift your right butt cheek up. Let your left butt cheek drop and lift it up. Let your right butt cheek drop and lift it up. Left butt drops, lift it up. Right side of the butt drops, 
and left. The left side of the butt drops, and then left, I don't know about you, but I can totally feel hamstrings and that part of the thigh where it meets the glute, right butt cheek drops and lifts up, left butt cheek drops and lifts up. So this is subtle, right butt cheek drops and lifts up, but you can really feel it. Left butt cheek drops and lifts it up. I know it's so good for the back of my body, right leg, right butt cheek drops and lifts up. Left butt cheek drops and lifts up. One more time, right butt cheek drops and lifts up. And then left butt cheek drops and lifts up. Woo! <laughs> You're just gonna take the cushion away from your spine and roll the spine down, upper back, mid back, low back, bottom. We're not totally done with hamstrings, so you can just move towards the front edge of your mat, or if you need to, you can turn around, like me, you can turn around towards the short edge of your mat, grab that towel, <laughs> the short towel or the long towel, whatever one you want to use. You can use the sofa cushion for this too. You're going to make sure that you have the towel underneath your heels, right? So the towel's going to be underneath your heels, and you're going to be down, back down, with your knees up here. So this time, you're just gonna, this, we're gonna start very simple. Start, we've already worked the hamstrings a bit, as you know. So you're gonna slide the legs out straight with the towel, use the towel to stride your legs, slide your legs out straight and come back. Let's take a pause here. Make sure your sacrum is rooting into the ground, back low ribs rooting into the ground and space between your low back and the ground. You wanna be in neutral spine here, beautiful. And then make sure the towel is really underneath both feet. So let's just use the feet. You don't have to be on the heels yet. Just use the feet, slide the towel out so the legs straighten, slide the towel in so the knees bend. Slide the towel out so the legs straighten, slide the towel in so the knees bend. Slide the towel out, straighten the legs, slide the towel in, bring the knees in. Slide the towel out and bring it in. Now I want you to bring your heels to that towel. If you've got your heels on that towel, I'm actually just going to use the, the bigger one. If you've got your heels on that towel, it's going to be a little bit more work, so slide the feet out and draw them in. Slide the heels out and draw them in. Slide the heels out and draw them in. One more, slide the heels out and draw them in. Beautiful. One last thing, if you want to stay with the heel version, stay with the heel version, or you can lift both hip bones up just like we had in that bridge, and you're going to slide both feet out and draw them in. It's a lot more work. I know we only got four of these. Slide both heels out with the hips lifted. Draw both knees up. Slide both heels out. Draw both knees in. One more time. Slide both heels out. Draw both knees in. Oh my goodness. Feel the hamstring on fire. Just land there. Just carefully land. Switch the knees side to side here. And one more thing with this cushion while we got it. So I'm going to have knees again. I'm going to have, oops, like the fold of this bath towel is getting pesky. Sorry guys. So you're gonna have the bath towel on my tabletop shins. Kneecaps are gonna be above the hip bones here. Feet are flexed. This is key for not losing the cushion. <laughs> and this is just really subtle. So drawing the low belly and pull the knees in. Reach the legs away from you, but don't completely straighten them. Pull knees in, lengthen legs out a bit. Now you could go all the way to legs straight, but that's quite a lot of load on the low belly, yeah. So you're gonna reach legs out, and you, as you can probably feel already, it's quite a bit of work, even if you don't fully straighten the legs. Coming in, out, and pulling the legs in. So knees pull in just, just towards the chest a bit. Legs reach out, knees pull in. Legs reach out, knees pull in. One more time, legs reach out, knees pull in. Beautiful. And you can just take the the blanket away and just come on to the inner and outer feet, swishing these side to side here. There we go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. We've got a little bit of lunge pattern work to get up to in a moment. Just hopefully thoroughly prepared the legs for that. But first we're going to do a little more course. So coming back up to see that we're going to Stay with that chest opening motif. Hi, everybody. So you're just going to lift the chest here. So I've got feet hip bone distance apart, knees hip bone distance, sorry, hip distance apart, knees and feet are hip distance apart, feet are flat on the ground. Now, as you can see, I kind of struggle to get extension through the chest. I'm still working on building strength through the shoulder, the small muscles around my shoulders. 
I'm going to hang on to my hamstrings here, and I'm just going to roll back behind the sitting bones, lift the chest up. So this opening of the collarbones, lifting the chest of the chest is key. Roll back behind the sitting bones into that C curve, draw the low belly in, and then lift up. So as I roll back into that C curve, drawing the low belly in, I'm also, of course, protracting, moving the shoulder blades away from each other, and then I draw the shoulder blades together to lift the chest. So I'm drawing the low belly in. So this isn't just about the belly. When we talk about this exercise being about the core, what we mean is your whole torso is involved, right? All the muscles of your belly, side body, chest, shoulders are involved in this movement. Here we go. Lifting it up and back. Beautiful. I'm lifting it up and back. Arms coming up, shoulder head if you want. You can still hang on here. Coming up and back. And then lift the chest to come up and back. I know. Lift the chest to come up and roll back behind those sitting bones. Lift the chest to come up and roll back behind those sitting bones. So we're doing a little more reps today, trying to get in, in really into those deep muscles. Let's start to open it up. Reach back, lift the chest to come up. You might want to reach the left arm back, follow it with your gaze, come up. Reach the right arm back, follow it with your gaze, come up. And so you're still drawing the low belly in as you go back. I know it's a lot. Drawing the low belly in, looking towards the left arm, coming up. Drawing the right arm back, drawing the low belly in, coming up. Left arm back, low belly in, coming up. Right arm back, low belly in, coming up with that chest lift. Left arm back, coming up, really lift the chest, nice. Right arm back, really lift the chest. And left arm back, really lift the chest. Beautiful, yeah, that's about it for core work today. We're gonna cross the feet and come forward. I'm gonna do this, sometimes it's okay to borrow from yoga, right? We're gonna do this little, <laughs> we're gonna do this little back bend just to stretch out the muscles of the front body, which have worked a lot here. And then to go back into that extension pattern that I was talking about at the beginning, where you really kind of wanted to um, extend the chest because we round it so much in these computer days of COVID times, right? So you're gonna have your hands underneath your shoulders, Actually, let's bring the feet together first. Feet together, inner line, legs zip together. Arms are long with the tops of the hands down. So arms are long with the hands beside the hips here. So you're gonna point the toes of both feet, zip the inner line, the legs together, draw the low belly and tip the pubic bone down so much that your legs lift. And then you're gonna peel, just gently peel the chest off the ground. You don't have, you can keep your hands down or you can interlace your hands at the base of your, of your spine and slide your arms back from your shoulders. It's one, two, so your butt is working here. Three, release maybe 20%, so it's not over firing and jamming your low back. And five, good, coming all the way down. <laughs> Put your hands now underneath your shoulders here. I'm gonna widen the feet to about hip distance apart. I still wanna activate the low body here. So pointing the toes, contracting the fronts of the thighs so the kneecaps lift, drawing the low belly in, reaching the chest forward, peeling it off the ground. Not too much weight in the hands yet. Now you can put a little weight into the hands. One, two, three. You can see this movement is hard for me, right? I'm still gaining strength in the shoulders. Four, and five, and then coming all the way down. Just take your hands underneath your forehead and come to rest for a moment here. Inhale here and exhale. Beautiful, I'm just gonna bring my hands underneath my shoulder and throw my toes under and come to all fours here. Just one little pause for the feet before we go into our lungy work. So I want, um, we're coming into a completely, completely ordinary hands below the shoulders, knees below the hips position here. I'm going to round through the upper back here. So we do want to, we do want to counteract a little bit, right? Chin and tailbone will reach out and then round through the upper back, push into the hands, bring the shoulder blades together one more time, reach tailbone and chin out and tuck tailbone and chin. Beautiful. We're just getting ready here to come to standing. So before we do that, with your toes curled under, you can even move your knees a little bit forward, you're gonna sit back. 
right? So everyone knows everyone's favorite toe stretch here. You need your toes are curled under and you're sitting your hips back towards your heels as much as your body can stand here. Let's distract our feet from the sensation by moving the shoulder blades a little, right? So we're coming back into that warm up we did at the beginning. Reach the arms up, pull, slide the shoulder blades down, right? Reach the arms up. The shoulders have to lift here to lift your arms. Pull the elbows down, shoulder blades down. Reach the arms up. Pull the arms down. Now I know. <laughs> reach the arms up. Pull the arms down. One more time. Reach the arms up. Pull the arms down. Slide those elbows back into your back pocket. Beautiful. I'm going to just bring my feet down to the ground and walk my hands in. So we're going to roll up like we did at the beginning to roll down, right? So drawing that little belly and tipping forward. I'm just going to bring a little weight. Sway a little weight here. Side to side. Ooh, yeah. And then I'm just gonna uncurl the spine. One vertebrae at a time. Good. So I'm gonna do this from the side so you can see what I'm doing. But if you are standing at the front short edge of your mat, that's probably best. I'm gonna take this towel. We have a little bit more light work before we lunge into some of um, Christine Feldstead's wonderful lunges at the end. So first we're going to do a little strengthening though, because like we haven't strengthened the legs enough, right? So you're going to take your little towel. So I, the front end of my mat is here. So here's what's happening. If you're, if you've got feet hip distance apart, your towel is going to be to the, to the, about, uh, about half a foot to the right of your right foot. Okay. You're going to sit your bottom back. You're going to put your toe on the towel and reach your right leg out long and then you're going to pull it in okay so let's move the left foot closer to the edge of the mat to make that work really sit the bottom back i know i'm having a hard time with this today too reach the right toe out to straighten that right leg bend the right knee bring it in so the toe is on the towel right toe reaches out right leg comes in you can do this of course with socks on too right toe taps right toe reaches out right leg comes in <laughs> one more right toe reaches out right leg comes in see if you can lift the chest i have our time with that right toe reaches out and bring it in. Good. Now we're going to have both feet facing forward here. Yeah. Um, that right leg that you just worked the side, the abducting, we're going to have left foot forward, right toe back, so that you're in this, it looks like a triangle stance, except that your right toe, your right heel is lifted, right? Your back, the heel of your back leg is lifted. You're going to come down, so you're at 90 90, you're almost 90 90. The front leg, the front knee's at 90 degrees, the back leg's at 90 degrees, and we're going to come up. We're going to do two more like that. Down and up. Whew. <laughs> down and up. Adding balance. Down and up. So arms lift as you go down. Arms come down as you go up. Arms lift as you go down. Down as you go up. Make sure front knee is tracking over second and third toe. And down. Keep the chest lifted. Down and up. If this is hard on the knees, stop. Down and up. One more time. Down and up good we're just going to reach right leg up here one two just balancing with knee hip height three four five i'm gonna have to back up here or i'm gonna meet my stove in an, un an unfortunate way right knee up i'm just gonna tilt forward both hands are on my hips here i'm gonna reach my right leg back single leg work today Woo! i know Right toes point down. Right leg is about hip height. See if you can keep your hips even. It's really hard for me. Two and three. And then come all the way up. Woo! Lose your balance. Put your foot down. <laughs> all right. Let's do the same thing on the other side. So we started with the right the so you're gonna have you're gonna start with your right foot close to the edge of your to the left edge of your mat. Your left foot is gonna be on a towel or your left foot is in a sock, maybe, anything that allows you to slide, right? So you're gonna bend, set, sit your hips back into an almost chair position here, watch your right knee. If your right knee doesn't feel right, let me, that, um, that is an indication you might have to be up a bit higher, so your bottom not quite as far down. You're gonna reach your left leg out to straight, and then bring it in. Reach your left leg out to straight, and bring it in. So it's the towel that's helping you slide. Reach your left leg out to straight, bring it in. And reach your left leg out to straight, Bring it in. One more time. Reach your left leg out to the street. And bring it in. Good. Beautiful. Okay, so now we're moving more center of the mat, right? So you're going to have that right foot forward, left 
toe back in that almost, it almost looks like a pyramid or stretch or triangle stance, except that the heel of your back foot is up, right? And then we've got that 90-90 thing happening. So you can see I have a little bit of trouble with this particular knee. Right knee here, and then come up, right? Right knee forward, and up. Both knees come to 90 degrees, you keep the chest lifted, and up. Let's add the arms. Up, and down. Arms lift as you go down, down as you come up. Lift as you go down, down as you come up. <laughs> lift as you go down, down as you come up. Up, and down. One more time, and down. Beautiful. And then you're just going to, so I'm just gonna step my back foot back so I don't meet my stove. You're gonna bring my left arm up, bring my left leg up, one, two, three, four, five. Both hands stay on the hips. So you're gonna to start to bring your left leg back as you bring your torso forward. This is the counterweight that allows this pose to happen, right? You're also firing that outer right glute like crazy, contracting maybe the front of your right thigh if you need even more hand work here. Left toes point down. Both, both legs are, sorry, left leg is hip height if you can. Two, three, four, Five, if you can come pull that left leg knee all the way up and put it down. Woo, we're gonna stretch that out. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we're gonna stretch that out. So let's just come into some classic yoga for runners lunges. So we're gonna <laughs> shout out to Christine. So we're gonna put left, right, left foot forward. Left foot forward, left knee is over left ankle. We're going for 90 degrees here. It's your knee can travel forward of your ankle here. It's just uh, if, if you, and it's usually safe in this range too. I'm gonna have my right toes curled under and lift that back knee, okay? You can also have the back knee touching down. The other thing I'm gonna do is try, and it doesn't always work out, to stack my shoulders over my hips and really lift the chest again. And then I can let the left knee travel forward towards the little toe side of that left foot, sink the left hip more, maybe. Yeah, I'm working on that too. Two, three, four, Five, I'm going to stay for eight breaths. Six. Ooh, I don't know about you, but my legs are shaking. Seven. <laughs> and eight. It's a good thing, really. You're going to carefully land that back knee down. Uncurl the back toe. I'm going to make sure. So you can see my hip bone is right here, and my knee is quite a bit back from my hip bone, which is what you need for the next stretch. And for this one, I'm going to lift the chest, use both hands to press the flesh of my front thigh away from me. Let the left knee deepen. The left knee bend is going to deepen here. Left knee can travel forward of the ankle in this position. For a little more engagement, you can contract the right glute. You will feel instantly the right hip, the front of the right hip flexor stretch more. It's one. Careful with that though. You don't want to overfire. Two. Three. Four. Five. Good. Very good. I'm going to have you can, hands on, I'm going to walk my left foot a little more center of the mat here. I don't know about you, but I do that with a few hip distance apart. I'm going to have the hands on either side of the foot here, and then I'm going to come up to that pyramid stretch. So you're going to have a pyramid stretch. The back foot is down. We're kind of almost in a triangle stance with the legs. The back foot is down, and you just travel the torso forward any of that. So, and if you need more, this is totally a hamstring stretch. So you're going to contract this for the front leg. You're going to get a little bit for the back leg too. You're going to contract the front of, front of the left thigh, let the kneecap lift, and come down. We just got five more breaths here. It's one, two, three, four, five. Good, just lift the chest here. One more thing, this is kind of out. So you're gonna bring your left hand to your left hip, bring your right leg up, and then you're gonna catch, we're gonna do that runner's lunge thing, right? So it's a really good quad stretch. So I'm gonna face you so you can see what I'm doing here. I'm gonna see if I can draw my right knee down a little in line with my left and still keep the chest lifting. Yeah, you can see I've got work to do on this one. It's one, <laughs> two, three, four, five. Let's just do a little hip mobility before we lunge out that other side. So I'm just gonna make some circles with my knee. You can see, wow, I need to, can see to try and keep trying to keep myself upright. It's tricky. One, 
two, three. There you go. Shake it out. Whew. Have the lunges on the other side, right? So this time, right foot forward. Right kneecap is above right ankle. So the right knee is at 90 degrees. Left leg is reaching back with the left toes curled under, left leg relatively straight here. See if you can have shoulders above hips. Soften into that right hip flexor. Deepen the right hip crease. Two, if you can. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Soften that left knee down. Uncurl the left toes if you want. You can keep them curled under as well, though. It's your, your call. I'm gonna, this time I'm gonna draw a little belly in. That does help this stretch. You're gonna press the flesh of that front thigh away from you. Let the right kneecap travel forward at the ankle. It usually is safe in this position to lift the chest. Two, three, four, five. Again, you can contract the left glute if you need. Six, seven, eight. Good, we're gonna do that pyramid stretch on this side. So I'm just gonna walk that right foot a little more center of the mat. Both hands come to the, um, hands on either side of the foot is what I meant to say. Coming up. And I'm just gonna straighten the front leg and I'm gonna square both hips front. So usually that means that the left foot is slightly turned out. It depends on your body and you're gonna fold forward. Two, three, four, Five. Good, and we're just gonna come forward, just like we did on the other side, we're gonna do that quad stretch, so catching the ankle with the left hand. This is a little bit easier to see if I do it forward, right? There we go, one. And again, see if I can, I'm trying to keep myself level. Not doing a very good job on this side. Two, three, four, and five, just put, land both feet down here. Let's go back to the beginning. So feet hip distance apart. We're gonna come up, so roll up onto those toes and down. You can see if you want to wobble out, use the big toes and down. Up and down. Up and down. Three more, up and down. Two more up and down. One more up and down. Now just a little side stretch with feet hip distance apart or you can have your feet together for this one if you like. So you're just gonna reach right arm down the, left, the right thigh, lift left arm up in line with the ear. Press strongly into both feet, especially your left foot. Draw, and then you feel the right side of your the right side of your side body drawing down towards the hip. Keep a little bit of opening in that left armpit chest. Two, three, four, ooh, five. And come slide all the way up, bring the left arm down. So this time the left arm's gonna travel down the left thigh. Strong through the feet here. You're gonna let the left arm travel down through the left thigh. Reach the right arm up. So we're doing that whole right side and to keep the right armpit chest open you're going to press down into the right foot so we sort of sometimes lose the right foot for some reason it's the other end of this stretch pull the fingertips the right fingertips away from the right foot good and shorten the side body on the left side two three four five coming all the way up Little bit of a shoulder, upper back stretch here. Interlace the fingers in front of you. Fingers, sorry, top of the hand faces you. Push the hand out. Tuck the chin round with the upper back here. It's one, two, three, four, five. Reach the arms all the way up here. Shoulders back. Last thing here, interlace the hands. So feet hip distance apart here or wider is even is great. Hands interlace, reach the hands away from the shoulders, lift the chest. See if you can do it without popping the ribs. That's always my challenge. It's one, two, three, four, 
five. Good. Thank you so much for practicing Pilates with me today. I hope you have a great rest of your Saturday. And, and uh, we know that we're not gonna see each other for, uh, for a while in person, but so please feel free to join in um, any Saturday that you can and have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs>